Hey y'all, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amanda, and on this channel, at least for the next few weeks, you'll be seeing lots of different kinds of content because of Vlogmas. But in general, you'll find military spouse content as well as disability content. And uh, writing and author content as well. Um, in today's video, I'm going to talk with you a little bit about my NaNoWriMo experience, what it is, and how I went about it for my very first attempt. So let's get into the video. Um, so NaNoWriMo, if you haven't heard of it before, is National Novel Writing Month. And it's held from November 1st to November 30th. And it's a worldwide thing where you spend November working toward writing a novel. Um, or that's the, that's the general consensus. But truthfully, um, if you, I found that if you spend spend too much time focusing on the need to start and finish a novel, you, it gets really stressful. Um, so it's important to remember that the real purpose of NaNoWriMo is to just get people writing, get their creativity, uh, just get their creativity going. Um, granted, it took me probably about half of the month to realize that that's really what the point was, is. Um, but I did eventually get it thanks to a bunch of writing friends that I have. Um, so, um, the goal is, like I said, to write 50,000 words if you are doing the traditional track of NaNoWriMo. And... I set out to write my very first novel ever, um, and it was, I decided I was going to write a contemporary romance. I wanted it to be um, military related because I am a military spouse. I also wanted it to feature an interabled relationship because I'm in one. I have cerebral palsy, um, hydrocephalus, as well as anxiety and depression, whereas my husband is able-bodied. And um, I find that an interabled relationship is not very often portrayed in entertainment, in media in general. Um, and when it is um, portrayed in a book, it's very rarely um, featured as part of a romance. And honestly, that bothers me because it suggests the idea that disabled people are not part of healthy romantic relationships. And so I wanted to... Um, fill that void that I saw. Now, that's not to say that there aren't um, romance novels that feature um, interabled relationships. I just haven't found them myself. Um, I have, since NaNoWriMo started, heard about a couple, um, but at the time of starting the project, I hadn't. Um, yeah, so... I set out on November 1st to write this novel. I started plotting it a little bit. I guess you'd probably call me a planter as opposed to a pantser who just writes by the seat of their pants or a plotter who writes any kind of outline. It could be super detailed. It could be almost half the length of the novel itself. Um, or it could be a general outline. I took notes on my general characters, a couple of plot points that I wanted to cover, um, 
but most of the outlining, truthfully, was in my head. <laughs> and uh, so I don't know if you can hear that. That's the bugle. It's five o'clock, and um, when you live on a military post or military base, um, you often hear the bugle at five o'clock. So there we go. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, I did a little bit of planning, mostly pantsing, and it didn't seem to serve me well. It works very well for other people. Um, I think that for my second novel and those going forward, I will probably try to um, plan it out a bit more. Um, but uh, moving on to the actual writing, I found a group of friends through a, the Writing Gals critique group and the Writing Gals community um, who were doing NaNoWriMo as well. And I th there's six of us and we have a, um, a Facebook group chat. And every, every day um, at different points of different times of the day, um, we would touch base with each other, do writing sprints for 15, 20 minutes, sometimes longer, um, just to encourage each other, have somebody to write with, um, and we just worked on it together for the whole month, and it was amazing. Um, I truthfully don't think I could have done it without them. Um, I also enlisted the help of other writing friends, um, friends of mine at Army Wife Network, as well as friends from high school and college who also love to write, um, and I asked their advice and uh, their assistance, their help was invaluable. Um, each of them at different points had to tell me to calm down and remember that this is supposed to be fun and I wasn't supposed to stress out quite this much. Um, and I did my best to listen. I really did. Um, but unfortunately, <laughs> I did stress out. I did get a little bit too legalistic when it comes to the idea of writing the 50,000 words in the 30 days. And that was hard, um, in part because it's just hard to write a book, and also because there was a lot of other stuff that I was um, handling throughout November. Um, I was doing a military spouse deployment readiness retreat called Pillar, and that was for three days. Three days in the middle of November, I was doing other writing assignments for Army Wife Network. Um, I was being a wife and mom. <laughs> I was going to doctor's appointments and things like that. So really, it ended up being 50,000 words and more like, uh, probably more like 17 days because I took time off for Thanksgiving, for the retreat and all those other things. Um, yeah. I wouldn't advise doing that. Um, all comes back to remember that it's not about racing to 50,000. It is about just getting the creative juices flowing and just getting started or continuing on a project you already have going. Um, yeah. So that was how that went. Um, I always had to have a glass of water and a glass and a cup of tea next to me, sometimes also a cup of coffee. So it kind of looked ridiculous, not going to lie. Um, sometimes I was writing sitting on the couch. Sometimes I was propped up with pillows in bed. Sometimes it was uh, typing on my phone in a waiting room, sometimes it was in the car. I would just write wherever, whenever. Um, yeah, speaking of whenever, that meant that there were nights when I got two hours of sleep. Cause even though um, 
I had lots of time during the day. It was hard for me to focus right at the most ridiculous times. Um, for some reason, three o'clock in the morning worked really well, which was strange. Um, yeah, so it was November 30th at 20 minutes to one, I believe, when I hit my 50,000 words. I was so excited. Um, yeah, so excited, so proud of myself. Um, and now I'm just taking a couple of days away from it to give myself a breather. And uh, starting tomorrow, I'll be back at it looking for all the things that I need to edit. And uh, doing that for the next couple of months. And if you would like to see some of that process, um, comment below and let me know. I would, uh, I'd love to share it with you if you're interested. And yeah, I think that'll do it for today's video. Um, like I said, comment below with any questions you have about NaNoWriMo, about my writing process, about, um, editing, anything you want. And, uh, I will do my best to answer them. Also, click the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click the notification button so that you know every time I post a video. And... If, um, if you're so inclined, please feel free to share. Thanks so much, and I will see you tomorrow.